hey what's up guys i'm at here so since a lot of you were requesting so finally the hk10 pro max versus the hk9 pro max plus comparison is here in this video we're going to be comparing both of the smartwatches to help you decide which one is a better option and if you are using the hk9 pro max plus do you need to upgrade or not before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and if you want to support my work you can join the channel membership so let's start the comparison so first of all as you can judge from the boxes on the left side we have the hk10 pro max and on the right side we have the hk9 pro max plus throughout the video both of the smartwatches will remain on the same position both smartwatches come in about 46 millimeter size dimensions of hk10 are 45.8 into 38.8 millimeters while the dimensions of hk9 are 46.2 into 39.2 millimeters if you talk about the accessories biggest size in series 10 is 46 millimeters and if you use its case on the hk10 pro max then it is a little loose because the smartwatch is a little bit thinner in width compared to the series 10 so the case will be a little loose on it and if you look at all of the sides you can see that it is not fitting perfectly on it on the other hand the biggest size in the series 9 is 45 millimeters so the series 9 case cannot be used on the hk9 pro max plus so both of the smartwatches are not compatible with the apple watch cases after that if you look at the body hk10 being a replica of the apple watch series 10 comes in a thinner frame while the hk9 being a replica of the apple watch series 9 is a little bit thicker hk10 is copying the latest jet black color but hk9 is sold as it's in black black color but you can clearly see that it's not a pure black color it's giving a charcoal shade on the left side we have the new speaker holes on the hk10 although they are a little bit bigger compared to the original series 10 then both smartwatches are compatible with the apple watch accessories and have strap locks at the back and on both of them the straps won't come out until you press the button and then push the straps although i have noticed that the straps fit perfectly on the hk9 pro max plus but on the hk10 they are a little bit loose on the corners and they come out of the frame as you can see here talking about the displays as far as i have checked diagonally the display size of hk10 pro max is around 1.69 inches while that of hk9 pro max plus is around 1.70 to 71 inches the bezel size is almost the same on both of them and overall the colors also look similar on both of the smartwatches and both of them are equally smooth although the maximum brightness level and the minimum brightness level is quite similar on both of them but still on the hk10 pro max plus the screen of dial is dimmer compared to the hk9 both of them are using the same processor which is the CSHA SF32LB525 and if you compare their speed they are quite similar. Both are no doubt the smoothest Apple Watch replicas. But one thing that I've noticed is that once you fill both of them with a lot of data inside them they become a bit slower. So just look at it. When I will open the menu the last row will be a little bit laggy when bouncing as you can see here. So this is a little disappointing. Other than that the transitions and everything are working absolutely fine in both of them. Both of them copy the latest Apple Watch OS. Although HK9 was advertised to copy the Watch OS 10, while the HK10 is advertised to copy the Watch OS 11. One thing that I liked about the HK9 is that rotating the crown key won't bring up the widgets page, but in the HK10 Pro Max, if you use a crown key, just like Apple Watch OS, it will open the widgets page. The UI has been updated in the HK10 Pro Max Plus. As you can see here, weather has a new widget. Then if you scroll down, even the fitness application gets a new widget. Then the UI has been made a little bit darker just like the watch OS instead of being too bright as you can see here and the widgets are still interactive and you can directly add the alarms and start the stopwatch directly from the widgets page both of them do not allow widgets page customization and on both of them you can swipe up to go to the menu but on hk9 you cannot go back from here while it is possible in the hk10 pro max then on both of them you can double click the crown key to access the app history the app history has also received a ui update and many applications now show different data inside it. then we also get the control center on the side key one thing that i really like is that the background has been made a little bit darker on the hk10 as it was too bright on the hk9 pro max plus then both of them come with the latest vertical cellular menu style in both of them the icons are quite similar and they're also a lot similar to the apple watch os then on both of them you can scroll all the way down and on hk10 we have the list view directly here while on hk9 from here you will have to access the list view it makes it look like a replica easily the hk10 also 
also gets the latest watchOS transitions. On HK9, the transitions were not similar to Apple watchOS, but on HK10, now even the going back transitions are similar to the Apple watchOS. There are many other UI improvements in the HK10. For example, if you open an application and then come back, the HK9 will take you back to the top, while in the HK10, it will keep while the HK10 will remain on the same position. After that, in the HK9 Pro Max Plus, many applications had a colored background, and if you access the fitness application, it had this ugly animation in the beginning. Well, just like this, a lot of things were improved in the HK10 Pro Max. If we talk about the watch faces, then the HK10 Pro Max Plus comes with 8 built-in watch faces inside it. It has got the latest watchOS 11 watch faces inside it. And this watch face is even dynamic just like Apple watchOS. And this is something that I really like. Other than these 8 built-in watch faces, you can install 1 watch face from the gallery, then 1 watch face from the AI dial market, and 4 watch faces from the Wayfit Pro application. On the other hand, if you check out the HK9 Pro Max Plus, it also comes with 8 built-in watch faces but none of them are of the latest watchOS 11. Again, you can install one picture from the gallery and one from the AI dial market. And other than that, it can install six watch faces from the Wayfit Pro application. And using the application, it also allows you to get the latest watchOS 11 watch faces, but the watch face downloaded from the Wayfit Pro application is not dynamic. Both of them are using the Wayfit Pro application and it contains full screen ads which can be a really annoying experience for the user. If you scroll down and go to its dial market, then most of the watch faces available in the Wayfit Pro application are paid. So you will either have to activate the membership to get access to all of the dials for free. It also includes some other privileges. Otherwise, you will have to purchase each of the paid watch face you like for 99 cents. If you do not want it, you can scroll all the way down and here it gets the free dial section. If you go to the free dial section, all of the watch faces inside it are available for totally free and the good thing is that it has been updated with the latest watchOS 11 watch faces on both HK10 Pro Max and the HK9 Pro Max Plus. Other than that, you can go to the customized section to use your own picture from the gallery and you can scroll down and go to AI Exquisite Dial where you can install a watch face using the AI. You can find its full tutorial linked in the description box. If we talk about the screen time, then in the HK10 Pro Max Plus, the normal screen time can be a maximum of 30 seconds. And if you scroll down in HK9 Pro Max Plus, it's the same in it. On both of them, you can access the control center and turn on the always on mode, which is basically the constant light settings. And if you turn it on, both of them have the maximum time of 20 minutes here. So if it is enabled, the displays on both of them can stay on for a maximum of 20 minutes. And after that, it's going to turn off or turn on the screen of dial. Talking about the screen of dial HK9 Pro Max has the AOD constant light mode option here and you can choose the always on option here using which the screen of dial can stay on forever until the battery runs out. HK9 comes with two screen of dials but you cannot choose them manually. If you are using a watch face with digital clock it will show digital screen of dial and if you are using a watch face with pointer clock then it's going to show pointer screen of dial. On the other hand HK10 Pro Max also has the screen of dial option and you can even schedule it or turn it on for the whole day and instead of just two styles it comes with six always on display styles three with the pointer clock and three with the digital clock and you can choose them manually and whichever watch face you chose as i mentioned earlier it can stay on until the battery runs out after that both of them come with the raised wake gesture to turn off the display and to turn it back on and both of them also have the palm gesture to turn off the display when you receive a new notification, both of them turn on the display, play a tune and show a banner prompt. So here's how the notification center looks like on both of them. Both of them have stacked notifications and the notifications from a single application are stacked. Here is the stack for WhatsApp. The icons have been made better on the HK10. If you check out the notifications, both of them support scrolling and both of them support smiley emojis. Talking about the vibration intensity, it looks similar on both of them. HK10 was advertised to come with a storage capacity of 1 gigabits, while HK9 was advertised to come with a storage capacity of 2 gigabits, although it was falsely advertised and the storage capacity is even lesser than 1 gigabits. If you're not understanding it, it equals less than 125 megabytes of storage capacity. To take advantage of the storage on both of them, you can add pictures. HK10 allowed me to add 6 pictures, while HK9 only allowed 4 pictures. If you use any of them, you can directly set them as custom 
custom watch face and just like this you can keep a few wallpapers in the smart watch and use them as a custom watch face whenever you want then we have the music application so you can add songs in both of the smart watches and listen to them directly on the smart watch although they only allow 5 to 10 songs to be added since the storage capacity is really low and after that on both of them you can connect with wireless earphones and then you can listen to the songs stored on the smartwatch directly on the earbuds we also get the recording option in both of them hk9 does not allow you to transfer the songs to the smartphone while hk10 allows you to transfer the recorded sound to the smartphone and after that to take advantage of the storage you can add txt files in both of them and other than that using the wayfit pro application you can install many other applications in the smartwatches both of them come with heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen level, then stress or pressure, and the blood sugar level checker. HK9 also has the respiratory rate checker. While if I have to be honest, I would only trust the heart rate and the blood oxygen level checker in both of them. So before we do the oximeter test, let's check out the weight detection. So HK10 Pro Max has given the error, which means that it comes with weight detection and won't measure the data until it detects your skin at the back. While the HK9 Pro Max has started to show values, which means it does not come with the weight detection so let's do the oximeter test currently we are using the hk10 pro max and it is showing quite similar values so it has passed the oximeter test and now it is time to test the hk9 pro max plus so it has shown incorrect values and has failed the oximeter test the sensors are reliable in the hk10 pro max compared to the hk9 pro max plus if you compare the general applications, then the features are almost the same in both of the models. You can add alarms directly in both of them. Then in the stopwatch application on both of them, if you go back, it's going to reset the stopwatch, which means it cannot run in background. Then the timer application in both of them only vibrates when the timer ends and does not ring. And if you check the calculator application, then the basic functionalities like multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition work fine. But if you use the percentage function with multiplication on the HK. 9 pro max plus it shows incorrect values and even if you try it with addition it still shows incorrect values if you try the hk10 pro max by adding the percentage option it shows incorrect values but if you try it with the multiplication option then it shows correct values other than that all of the smart applications are also similar on both of them chat gpt and everything is working fine on both of them and in the end if you talk about the battery life, HK10 Pro Max is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 300mAh while the HK9 comes with a battery capacity of 230mAh. I've been working on this video for about 40 minutes now and when I started the recording, HK10 Pro Max was at 94% and it has lost 9% of the battery in this time. While on the other hand, HK9 Pro Max Plus was at 88% and has lost 13% of the battery in this time. So guys that's all from today's video so which one would you go for let me know in the comments if you would like to place an order i'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch in my opinion both of them are good but i think that the hk10 pro max is better since it copies the style of the latest apple watch series 10 jet black and after that its battery timing is also better then it comes with this watch os 11 dynamic watch face and the ui and transitions and everything is more similar to the original apple watch if this video helped you out make sure to hit the thumbs up button do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and if you want to support my work you can join the channel membership i will catch you in the next one until next time this is i matt peace